Welcome back to Uport. Between episodes, I took care of some of the hiring and firing. Uh, so you'll be pleased to know that we won't have an entire episode of that, but nevertheless, there is still more to do. I've changed the way I do it somewhat, so it's not quite as frustrating as it used to be, but still, the process is very similar. And the main thing is to be on pause so that you can assign them to the right terminal before they get auto-assigned somewhere else. And what else am I missing? Service tax, okay. Oop, nope. Right, that should make things slightly better. The other thing I took care of off camera was that my baggage for the large stands wasn't working because I hadn't actually ever got around to joining up the conveyor belts. I haven't quite finished that yet. As you can see, there's some being built along here as well. That will take its time. Once that's done, I need to get a tilt table in here and connect this up. Uh, in f mm, no, I won't connect it yet. I'll wait till the tilt table's there, otherwise baggage may end up going the wrong way. So, let's go to fast mode while we're waiting for that to get constructed. I also made this room slightly more functional by having desks in there so that the staff can actually go and do something rather than just standing around looking useless. Um, they are still standing around looking useless in this, this room though. Now, I still don't know what I'm going to do about that room. And I still don't know what I'm doing about seating and all of those sorts of things. Um, so my original design has changed rather a bit. Um, also, there's supposed to be a wall there, not a random hole. <laughs> so things are looking a little bit more complete but there's a long way to go yet. And let's use this one. And let's put some more seating in as well. I have a feeling this episode might turn into largely a episode of decoration. I don't know if you're here for that or not, but that's kind of what the airport needs at the moment. I've done a lot of functional design without doing the beautification and seating and all of that sort of thing which can make for a few problems so we remembered to get some bathrooms in but we haven't really got um, staff rooms in the right places and that sort of thing yet so I'm sort of working my way through getting some of those tasks sorted out, but it's a bit time consuming. I don't want to do it all off camera. Oops, let's try that again. There we go. TA-500. Okay. Who are you? One of those. Okay. That should be completely fine as far as I recall. I believe there is a stand here that permits medium aircraft. Not stand, sorry. Hang on.
interesting that it's still getting services. In fact, we identified the problem before people had even finished off-boarding. That's kind of amusing. I'd say it's waiting for some other plane to go past. Probably more than one. Yeah. My airport has serious problems with priority and just availability of the taxiway. And that's something that I would need to consider more carefully for future airports. I honestly don't know what the better design is. It's all a bit tricky. Okay, that looks like it's taking care of itself. seats in here. Good, okay, I should be able to do this now. If we let the game work properly. Delete that one, thank you. Build that and when able should at some point see a contractor run over here. Which might take a while because it's a long way from... here we go. It's a long way from their actual depot. I don't want to get distracted by that right now. I want to deal with this tilt tray because my bags are going to the wrong place. Come on, hurry up. Unfortunately, they built the new one before getting rid of that one. Here we go. Right. Now, bathroom. Bathroom exploded. Never fun. Which one? This one. Ooh, that looks ugly. But we should have service technicians coming in to fix it straight away without any great problem. Cool. And while we're waiting for them... No, no, no. Nope. And no, and no. Still going, alright. Lots of mess to clean up. Interesting that it actually takes both the janitors and the service techs both have to come in here to fix this. And it looks like we're all done. Fantastic. Incidentally, I'm not certain of how it happens, but I have seen um, a broken floor like that get stuck permanently, or dirty floor get stuck permanently. I'm not sure what triggers it, but my theory is if you take too long to respond because you don't have enough staff in the right area, they just never get to that job and it gets unassigned or forgotten. So you end up with this stain that you can't ever get rid of. Replacing the floor doesn't do anything. In fact, I think bulldozing that bit of terminal and rebuilding it doesn't actually get rid of it. Hmm. 
Um, right, so our bag should be connected up properly now. Ah, no, there's still some more that needs fixing. Um, that one and that one need to be tilt tables as well. This is at least a bit closer to where the contractors work, so they should be coming already. I think I can see them. Yep. Right. Once those get some... Yay! Okay, no more red arrows. Um, and if we look at these, they're connected now. Fantastic. So the next time we get a plane in here, um, well that one says he's already got his baggage, but we'll wait for the next one just to be sure. Should be any minute now. Definitely requested baggage handling. I don't know why they do that weird U-turn either, that doesn't seem to be something I can actually change or prevent. And bags are getting offloaded there, it should go up this one. Yep, okay. And if we go back up to surface level. Alright, he's picked up the new bags. Baggage and boarding are done, fuel is a problem, and that was a problem I noticed between episodes as well. I've done a few things to take care of it, which I'll show you in a second. Just want to make sure this plane actually leaves close to on time. And let's see, due to leave at 17.30, yeah, excellent. Um, so what I ended up doing is building a new fuel depot because it's a long way for tr the trucks to go from here all the way down to here or possibly worse they will come to this one and drain it instantly because the truck carries as much as or I think more than what this tank can hold. Uh, let's have a look. They can hold, yeah, 40,000, and this only holds 30,000. So if I'm smart, I should probably actually get rid of this one, just so that there's no chance of the large trucks trying to fill up there. But hopefully now that we've got this huge tank, um, they will be smart enough to go downstairs and fill up there instead. Fingers crossed and all that. <laughs> Um, okie dokie. If our staffing were up to scratch, I think we'd be able to open more stands. So let's get some more of them in. Don't want you. service text as well. Most of the time service technicians don't really do much, but when you need them, you need them quickly. Oops. Right, T. I wasn't on the 
pulls. That must be silly. Probably ended up assigning one here somehow. Yeah. I had this down to a much more sensible number earlier. As you might. <laughs> okay. Now, if we actually go and hunt down our staff once they've had a chance to get to the right place, we should hopefully see a bunch of security staff sitting in here. bunch of rampagents up here. Uh, sorry, here. Nope, none there yet. Hmm. Okay, we've definitely got enough to open one more of these. Let's switch off staff for the big ones. We don't want staff going through there. Double check these are set the right way. Yep, good. Still not sure I have enough they do actually have to have time in their break. They can't just be working 100% of the time. I think I need more security staff still. Um, so we'll grab some more janitors. Sure, we assign them to the right terminal. And start thinking about where the ramp agents might be hiding. I think I've prevented them stopping here. No ramp agents. No ramp agents. Mm. That's only security officers. Here we go. That's more like it. Good. And I think there's somewhere. No, okay. There is a staff room here for security staff. Aha! That's where they're all hiding. Okay, I thought that didn't seem like the right number. Okay, okay, okay. We can definitely have one or two more of these open. Then we can start thinking about putting staff rooms in more meaningful places. Because we want one up here. And we want one down here. We want to make sure both of those are set to Rampage and only. And likewise, well this one's probably close enough, that's fine. The primary goal here is to have them near their workplaces. And this one should cover a bunch of plane stands as well as that baggage bay. This one will maybe cover some of the plane stands, same with that one covering some of these. Probably want another one in the middle here somewhere. 
I'm just not sure when to create it and where to put it. Um, let's say upstairs. <coughs> and we'll keep it small and sort of tucked out of the way. Gosh, we're having lots of these today. Make class medium, experiencing failure. Okay. Well, if memory serves, I have an emergency station. Confirm. Excellent. So any minute now we should see that plane land, here we go, it will drive down there because of this one way loop that I've created, which in hindsight may not be the best way to handle this. <laughs> it made sense at the time, damn it. Alright, all the people should get off. Agents, okay. Baggage handling, okay, and service round. Oh, that'll be the ramp agents as well, right? So they're checking the plane for faults. Well, we know it's got one. <laughs> Let's say it's finished because it won't let me click on it anymore. should go across to our hangar. Heaven forbid we ever need two of these at once. <laughs> cool. Now, back to staffing. <laughs> you know how I started the episode saying this wasn't going to be an episode full of staffing? Well... Just imagine how much worse it would be if I hadn't done a bunch of this beforehand. Uh, you'll do, you'll do. And... Yep, yep. Yep. Right, 92 security staff and 60 ramp agents is starting to sound like the right kind of numbers. Still don't have as many sitting in here as I would like. But speaking of sitting... And while we're at it... Let's create a pair of small bathrooms here. First try. This one is for the gentlemen. Yes, that's right. And switch it on. So while I wouldn't expect passengers to need the bathroom there most of the time, 
the security agents definitely will. And that may be one of the reasons there were so few of them sitting here. But mostly I think they're just preferencing this room for no apparent reason. Maybe because of the hedge? <laughs> is it just that they preference the nicer place to be? Or is it something to do with the fact that one was built first? Maybe it's to do with the type of chair. jumps like that. You click and go to move your mouse to put the next thing down and there's a delay and it registers a click after the mouse moves. Also contractors getting stuck in hedges seems to be a problem. I've seen that happen a few times. Doesn't seem to be too much of an issue this time. Um, right. I think it's time we opened up some more of these. Let's go one of each for the moment. Another thing I did between episodes was actually put some of my cabin cleaning trucks down the bottom here because it was a long way for them to drive down to these large stands. Alright, let's keep an eye on those stands. Large 41 and medium 47. Uh, not that button, this button. 41 and medium 47. That one and that one. Okay. Probably won't be anything in this day. And I can't make the game go any faster. Okay. If it's going to take that long. <laughs> Switch you off and switch you off and find them manually. You can go there and let's try maple. You can go there. Now these can be automatic. no flights on these. That was really weird. Uh -huh. Was I looking at the wrong day? I was. Dang it! Again. Mm, of course now we're not going to be able to find another large flight. <laughs> um, there's plenty of medium ones. It's auto managed, blah 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 blah. Switch off the auto manager. Put this flight in at the earliest time it'll accept. And then look for a large flight. Adam, maybe. who the five stars are apart from Maple. Here we go. Yeah. Right. Now they can be automatic.
And while we're waiting, <laughs> I don't think I need to hire any more just at the moment, but I can at least get rid of the duds. Once again, I wish the uh, HR director could automatically reject people below a certain quality, even if it was limited to like halfway. It saves so much manual time. Okay, why are you running late? Cleaning. Okay. Could it be? I don't even remember where my cleaning station is. It's here, isn't it? Um, no, you're okay. Do I have two of those? I don't think I do. Mm. Let's lower that to 50% just to be sure. Should be awaiting a pickup, yeah. Which could take a while. I think that's one of them there. Nope. That was catering. Who knows? At some point, the trucks will come and take some bags away. How's this going? Right, we should have our planes turning up at any moment. I think that's one of them there. Yep, and this one. Cool. So good. Right, you're just waiting on baggage. You're still getting filled up. I'm wondering if I need more fuel trucks. If we look at this one. He's run out of fuel, and okay, the next one's there automatically. Good. On this occasion, they knew they would need it. Sometimes they seem to run out and then drive off, and it's ages before the next one turns up. But this one was right there. Okay. Getting a lot of these delays again. Catering. One of 137 boarded, and it's marked as complete. Um, what? Small domestic, nine. I think that's this one. Hmm. Looks like a few problems are starting to creep in, and I'm wondering if it's to do with... No, it shouldn't be Rampagents. I think it's more likely to be to do with traffic, honestly. If you see the number of vehicles driving around, including... This one, which is going to the wrong... Wait, no, you. You? I'll wait till you finish your job. I can tell by the colour, like this one. Sign Parking International Catering Depot. That should be right here. But it says the sign terminal is Terminal 1. Well, at the moment, I think you'll find that's actually Terminal 3. 
Yeah, okay. That will explain a few of the problems. And the reason this happened... Yeah, okay. I thought I'd caught them all. Okie dokie, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. What happened is I had a warning about a job that wasn't part of any terminal. And I realized where the problem was. I fixed up the terminal marking to solve that problem. But in doing so, I accidentally created a third terminal zone. And that has confused the assignment of various vehicles. I thought I had fixed them all. But obviously not. Right, now it should just be this one. Instead. And if that's a problem, then there's potential that these are a problem as well. Terminal 1, yes, that's correct. You do not belong over here. This, folks, is why we color code. <laughs> I would have no way of determining where they were supposed to be if it weren't for that. Okay. Sever's car does not belong in the catering depot. Thank you very much. Neither does a stair truck. At least that one makes a little bit more sense. And the cabin cleaning truck makes sense too, but it's still not meant to be in there. I said assigned parking, thank you. Um, Yeah, like, I'm not sure how and why this happens. All of these catering trucks are supposed to be assigned to the catering depot. Hey, we've got invisible vehicles again. Excellent. should only have catering trucks in it. Thank you. And this should not... Oh, no, there's still one there. Okay. Hopefully, I've caught all of the problems now, and the next episode won't involve staffing or fixing vehicle assignments. The only way to find out is to tune in to the next episode. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>